Love is pure, love is painful, love is sweet and love is dreadful. True love is overwhelming. Our lives depend on it and it often seems like our planet would stop spinning if love did not exist. Love is something we strive for and something we mourn the loss of. Let us represent you with some interesting facts and theories about love that will explain much about these all absorbing phenomenon without dispelling its romance and poetry. Like sex and hunger, the urge to fall in love is primitive and biological. When two strangers are forced to talk and maintain eye contact for a while, it can make them fall in love. It only takes up to four minutes to decide whether you like someone or not. And that decision is based mostly on body language. Falling in love has neurological effects similar to those of cocaine. When two lovers gaze at each other's eyes, their heart rates synchronize. Even looking at a picture of a loved one relieves the pain. Cuddling releases natural painkillers. When a person falls in love, the ventral tegmental area in the brain floods the caudic nucleus with dopamine. The caudic then signals for more dopamine, the more dopamine, the higher a person feels. The same system becomes activated when a someone takes cocaine. You are most likely to fall in love with someone if you first meet them in a dangerous situation. A four-leaf clover is often considered good luck, but it is also part of an Irish love ritual. In some parts of Ireland, if a woman eats a four-leaf clover while thinking about a man, supposedly he will fall in love with her. Love needs to be blind for survival. It does not seem to matter what others say to the new lover. He or she is always perfect in our eyes. This blindness is critical for us to move forward in our relationship and usually required to move on to the attachment stage as scientists call it so that they can stay in love long enough to have and raise children in other words to populate the art when you look at a new love your brain suppresses the instinct to make critical social judgments. People at the same level of attractiveness are more likely to end up together. Couples who are too similar to each other are not likely to last. Research says that people are more attracted to those that they share a level of attractiveness with or in other words are equally socially desirable. Thinking of love and sex influences creativity and concrete thinking respectively. Anti-depression may compromise romantic love because they enhance serotonin levels. Higher serotonin levels 
plant emotions and inhibit obsessive thoughts about the lover both crucial components of love heartache is real too being rejected sparks strong activity in the parts of the brain associated with physical pain an attractive face is preferred over an attractive body for long term relationships people with high self esteem have longer and more successful relationships monogamous relationships exist throughout the animal kingdom a love to one's hand relieves pain and stress oxytocin the so called love or cuddle hormone is produced during an embrace or cuddle the hormone appears in the brain ovaries and testicles and is thought to be involved in the bonding process expressing gratitude towards people you love causes an immediate spike in your happiness love also causes a drop in serotonin which is a symptom of ocd causing you to be literally obsessed with your partner butterflies in the stomach are real and they are actually caused by adrenaline when you fall for someone you probably won't be able to avoid the butterflies flying dancing or fooling around in your stomach they are caused by adrenaline which floods your body during flight or fight response situations on average people fall in love 7 times before getting married statistically men are quicker than women to say i love you in relationships and studies report that men are also more emotionally affected when relationships end rare disease that does not allow a person to feel the rapture of love engagement rings are often worn on the fourth finger of the left hand because the ancient greeks maintained that the finger contains the vena amoris or the vein of love that runs straight to the heart the first recorded wedding rings appear in ancient egypt with the circle representing eternity as well as powerful sun and moon details love in the sense of no score in tennis dates to 1792 and means playing for love or in other words playing for nothing other scholars claim that love as a tennis court is a corruption of the french word for a lieuf because of the eggs resemblance to a zero The Mexican chief Montezuma considered chocolate a love drug and drank 50 cups of chocolate a day before visiting his harem of 600 women. The maple leaf is a symbol of love in China, Japan and in North America. It was often engraved on beds of early settlers to promote peaceful sleep and pleasure. The heart symbol was first used to denote love in the 1250. Prior to that, it 
represented foliage. The heart is a common symbol of love and can represent the wings of a dove which was sacrificed in ancient Israel as a gesture of love and which also served as a symbol of Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love. Aside from humans, domestic sheep are the only species shown to have the ability to prefer same-sex relationship for life. On the other hand, a number of animals engage in same-sex matings. Seahorses meet for life and when they travel, they hold each other's tails. French angel fish are known for being lifelong mates. The fish often live, travel and hunt in pairs. And also, sandhill cranes, prairie voles, black vultures, wolves and bald eagles are all known to mate for life. Puffins mate forever in order to mate for life. They create homes for themselves on cliff side and not only that, they even build a separate toilet in their little homes. Gentoo penguins propose to their life mates with a pebble. As soon as we think there is no more place for romance in a world explained by science, we fall in love or simply look into the eyes of our beloved and all of that knowledge is pushed to the back of our minds. In the end, the feeling itself is what matters most. William Shakespeare said, Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged, cupid, painted blind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video make you learn new things. If you enjoyed this video and like to stay updated with more content, then please subscribe to our channel. Please leave your comment and don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.